Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 40s World and we coming to you with a rock'em sock'em type of video. Yes, we getting it stri strictly from US Weekly Magazine. Yes, honey, I don't know how true it is. All of it could be allegedly. I'm just reporting to you what I found out in my social media feed and I wanted to come and talk about it with you all, okay? straight from the horse's mouth okay anyway i want to say continued happy holidays to you all those who are still celebrating those who are still laying back kicking back and just enjoying this downtime okay and for the ones that had to kick it and get back to work get back to the struggle okay god bless you <laughs> that's all i can say because all of us that's in that work nine to five 7 to 3, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. type of work relationships to get that money to sustain our livelihoods. All I can say is God bless you, okay? It is, it is a struggle. But let's get into this video with these two young ladies, honey. I'm like, mm mm. Woo wee. Cynthia is like shaking me from the top of my head to the soles of my feet i said okay okay sit there go on and break it down for me for 2019 ending 2019 you sure you want to play in the big girls game now you want to start with the oh geez you want to come with some thunder okay girl i hear you i hear you i see you too now don't disappoint me now because i'm i'm rooting for you i don't took you off the bench i got you starting lining up here and we want to see what you got to say girl we don't want to silence you anymore no 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 we want to hear what you roaring about over there because what we hear in them streets you trying to get uh kenya more together and i mean size her up read her for a film and probably had to get hands on if you must yes your girlfriend girlfriend right there in the middle stirring up all this unnecessary trouble and chaotic situation for you a lot of people on the street saying she jealous of you and i'm can i'm kind of thinking in the same format she just may be jealous of you okay because everything is coming into fruition because you know she was picking at you before talking about let the man propose to you you don't even know if he gonna propose you just thirsty you just ripped it all that kind of stuff but you fooled all of us honey he went on and did his thing he proposed i don't know how long it's gonna last whatever not me to say but i'll be watching honey i'll be watching because if you know anything goes south i'm gonna be right here i'm saying cynthia cynthia i need you to sit down now <laughs> i really need you to sit down because you don't been married twice all right it ain't worked out for you just sit on down don't be like elizabeth taylor and marry till you get it right marry nine ten fourteen people okay because we need no well to have some money to live on as well, all right? Even if you just leave her a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. I need you to go on and get what Portia William did to Kenya Moore before they came somewhat friends. Because I'm still uh, guessing on that friendship. I don't know. I don't know if it's a true friendship. I know Portia's in for the long haul if she can have some sincerity out of Kenya. But I don't think Kenya have it in her at this point, Okay. And we're going to do another story on her and her mother coming in a situation and Kenya trying to blow her up, put her out in social media. Her mama ain't asked to be out in social media land. She didn't ask to be trending on hot topics on everybody's platform. She just wanted to celebrate her baby girl or acknowledging that she does have a granddaughter in this world and trying to, you know, mend fences to get to know her. Hold on. Sorry about that. But anyway, yeah. So that's another story I'm going to bring out hopefully today. If not today, you'll get it sometime this week. But anyway, yes, honey. Cynthia is coming through for us. For the entertainment side of folks that want to be entertained by them. Okay? Candy tried to get Kenya together for Cynthia. Telling her it was all wrong. Everybody just, you know. Trying to say what Nene was this. She was kissing Nene ass. Yes, she was. I'm still on that sideline. I'm still chasing them down. Trying to figure out what they going to be doing together once they get back together. Because it seems like Nene wants to make amends. And Cynthia's a good person to be taping with. But right now, Nene on the outs with everybody just about. And she's trying to feel her way back in. But that's what an OG does. And I'm seeing her 
I'm liking her maneuver that she's bringing back. But we still got her on the sidelines over here at uh, Dave Chanel Sport. It's weird. I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself for the people that are just coming in trying to figure out who I am. I am the owner, the content creator over here called Deb Chanel, okay? And you're at Deb Chanel's for this world. So enjoy yourself. Sit back. You like what you like. Please subscribe. Uh, like and share my videos and all that time. All that jazz. And continue to do the same thing every time you come over to my platform, okay? It's just the way I get down from my own personal viewpoints, my own opinions, and my own spe speculations. And then I put it out for you all to tell me what y'all think. Not talk about me and how I presented it, but what I gave you all as a storyline to talk about, okay? Don't you think that's fair? I have my point of view. You have your point of view. And we keep we keep it going. We just interact with each other, whatever. And that's just how it is, okay? But, yeah, Cynthia Baylor is getting down on Kenya Moore. And I'm here for it. I'm like, Cynthia, shake her, bake her, shake her everywhere, which way, every which way you can, but loose, honey. Shake her every which way you can, but loose. Because somebody got to teach her a lesson. If it ain't candy, it must going to be you. All right, but let's get on to the article. It said, um, and this is from usmagazine.com. It's from Emily Longaretta. Okay, sorry about that. Um, it's from Emily Longaretta, and she must be a journalist or a um, common, we call it a commonly, commonly, uh, columnist, columnist, or just, just say hell. She's breaking out commentary. She's a uh, commentary person over there at U.S. Magazine. And her title of her article reads, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Sneak Peek. Cynthia confronts Kenya about trying to ruin her proposal. And we all know Candy Burris tried to get up in that ass. Yes, we did. We know she was trying to break down. And I, I fought Candy because Candy can't go with no clean hands either because she should have kept her mouth closed. Whatever um, Mike told her, she told her. He told her not to go express to anybody else. So foul on candy but i saw candy wanted to you know take the responsibility of accountability of what she said you know uh trying to give uh kenya a little heads up so she didn't try to leave early or whatnot so all her co-workers or constituents or colleagues could be there for her big proposal surprise that was going to tape you know take off on this taping but uh she didn't know she didn't really know that Kenya was going to fuck up everything and, you know, try to make the spotlight like she always do. Every time she have an episode where she's filming in, she thinks she got to run the shit. She got to be the power of the shit. She got to be the shit of the shit. You see what I'm saying? And that ain't right. That ain't right. So I'm glad Candy got her together. And I'm glad Cynthia's coming around trying to check her. Now, I did have a little video piece in here. I wonder will it play. Let's see. Conversations about my premonitions on things. Right. And I said, I was like, oh, here you go. Like premonitions. It wasn't right. a premonition, though. It was. What conversation did you guys have? You can say it. You can say it. All right. Um, she and I already, we already had a little argument about the situation. Basically, that night, um, Kenya texted me, and I was like, just let her know she needs to hurry because I think he's about to pop the question. So when she came in, and I responded by saying, I think so too. So all I said was when I walked in, I was like, oh, I, you know, I'm excited. I think he's going to propose tonight. But my thing and is, was like, why would you, you do that? I said to you privately, because but when I was in he gave me. Come in, you didn't tell me that part. I was, okay, so you're it. making it seem like I somehow like ruined her proposal or anything like that. First of all, let me just say this. I am happy for you. And don't ever sit here and try to question why I said this or this, that, and the other. Because that bitch right there, I ride for her heart. 
I'm not gonna lie. If that were my friend, it would make me wonder, like, are you really my friend? Oh, come on. Who would steal somebody's happiness like that? That's just weird to me. That's right. Was I too excited? Did I open my big mouth and say something? Probably. Because I was that excited. So she crazy. That somehow she is crazy to you. Me messing up a moment for you, I would die if that's the case. Before I would, I just would be, I would just couldn't even show my face if that was the, the case. That's a lot too. <laughs> And ain't nobody believing it. And Nene walks up. So I'm thinking this is going to be something. Yeah, I think it's going to be shown to us this Sunday. That's coming up on the 29th. That's going to be taping. So that was just a little clip of Cynthia calling herself getting um, Kenya together in her own little words after everything had transpired. But my thing is, you know, Cynthia, you shouldn't even brought Mike into it. You should have said, look... You almost effed something up for me because I would have been an impression that he was going to propose. I didn't really know how he was going to propose. But then in hindsight, I would have been thinking, what if he didn't propose? What I be sitting up here and getting my feelings all, you know, hyped and everything. And I'm just sitting waiting, looking at people coming from the corners or, or, or from the ceilings or from the skylight or skyline from, you know, a helicopter maybe dropping down on me. I don't mean know what's going on, but I know something's supposed to be popping off and it's supposed to be good for me. Now, what if that shit never happened? You was talking about one little woman would be running around there tearing up stuff. And getting confused and probably crying all the way around the woodwork. Child, if I was sent there, I would just get a hold of you and shake you every which way but loose. You hear me what I'm saying? Every which way but loose, honey. But anyway, let's get on into this article. Hopefully, y'all were able to hear that um, audio that I was playing from the next episode that's going to be airing, like I said, possibly on the 29th. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, stay tuned and if you don't catch it hey god willing i'll be here giving you my review my recap on what did transpire okay between that during that episode but anyway um it goes on to read the title again was real housewives of atlanta sneak peek cynthia confronts kenya about trying to ruin her proposal um, it goes on to say a simple mistake. Candy Burris isn't so sure. It wasn't no simple mistake. And how she was trying to explain it that yeah, Candy did call me and gave me gave me a little heads up. But I also told Candy, yeah, I think he's gonna do it too. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't have no premonitions, none of that. You just wanted to have the show stolen in a moment where it was like all about you and not cynthia and mike's proposal but let's get on back to the article that was my sidebar you know i get down and do those things at times but it says um ahead of cynthia bailey and mike hill's engagement kenya moore made a comment to cynthia that a proposal may be coming and i wasn't the only one who felt that kenya was definitely out of line she would have been mad if somebody came and told their opinions or their beliefs especially if it didn't happen but then she probably would have thought about it too after why would you do that anyway why did you steal that moment from me uh and from the viewers that were watching so but anyway that's my sidebar again we go on to say or she goes on to say if you knew he was trying to do it to surprise me why would you bring that up to me excuse me that's what cynthia 52 says in u.s weekly exclusive sneak peek of sunday's december 29th episode of the real housewives of atlanta so yes it is coming in or coming on on the 29th y'all want to be you know in y'all seats on y'all sofa and y'all uh, comfy love couch or on y'all bed prop by the tv okay like i shall be with my notepad all right but um they're going to bring up that particular episode. Then it goes on to say, Kenya 48 responded, I just felt it. And you know, we always have conversations about my premonitions on things. No, everybody probably listen to you and your bullshit that you play around with and say what you got to say. And you put it on premonitions. Okay. Just like you say, uh, everyone uh, mistaken or uh, mistakes you for Beyonce. Really, Kenya? Really? Really? Okay sit down but anyway going back to the article it said real housewives of atlanta stories that define the decade 
with that, Candy43 felt it was her time to chime in, meaning Candy wanted to put her take on the spin of what had transpired between that particular episode. She goes and say, it wasn't a per premonition, though. The Grammy winner awards, uh, the Grammy the Grammy winner said, we already had a little argument about this situation. See, Candy's calling your ass out. She calling your bluff. I'm like, huh, but y'all want to bring Kenya Moore back on the spot, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. I bet you're rethinking that uh, situation, aren't you, Candy? Aren't you, Cynthia? I bet you are. Okay, but anyway, moving on. It says, um, we already had a little argument about this conversation or the situation. Can you text me? And I was like, just let her know she needs to hurry because I think he's about to pop the question. Okay, when the night arrived, Kenya told Cynthia, I think he's going to propose tonight. A comment she doesn't see a problem with. Okay, of course she wouldn't. She wouldn't see a problem at all because everything she do, she don't see a problem. She wants a reaction. But sometimes... A non-reaction sounds more louder than a reaction. But like I said, Kenya tried to make every scene she in about her. If you don't believe me, watch it. Every scene that she's filmed in or exposed in, she is going to try to make the whole situation be about her. She wants all the talking time. She wants all the filming time. And it just don't leave uh, uh, others to even chime in because she wants to hog the spotlight. So it makes me wonder, was Mark wrong for calling her that attention? Mm-hmm. Starts with a W, ends with a R, R E. Okay. Tension whore is what he called her. Okay. So moving back from that, it says, um, you're making it seem like I somehow ruined her proposal or something. The celebrity apprentice star said, let me just say this. I am happy for you. And don't ever sit here and try to question why I said this. That itch right there. I ride for her hard. I'm like, why she, I mean, when we use the word itch, it'd be like in a simple, you know, joyful, playful type situation. But how you said that, it's like you had some animosity behind that statement. Kenya, okay? And plus, you didn't even get to film your proposal, nor your wedding, nor really your baby, um... Uh, uh, development footage you gave us nothing so Cynthia Candy Portia everybody giving us a little look see into their um lifestyle or how they conduct themselves during certain events good events bad events during their life but you don't want to give us none of that but you want to hog time on other everybody else's uh, time to give their storyline you want to hog all that but then when it comes to you and them questioning how you doing with your marriage what what's going on can you update us oh no i don't want to talk about it well, okay well we don't want you to talk about other people's business either we want you to sit there shut up and look pretty that's all we want over here yeah, Dev Chanel's for this world. <sighs> okay, moving on from that situation. It says Real Housewives star who owned restaurants. During the interview, Portia Williams also shared her thoughts that uh, she felt if that were my friend, that would really make me wonder. Are you really my friend? She asked in her confessionals, who would steal someone else's happiness like that? That's just weird to me. Okay, so you from the beginning of season 12 coming in and even before the taping was finished and you all were just promoting it and then we got a chance to start seeing season 12 develop. You said Eva was on your side. You said Kanye was on your side. I mean, I'm sorry, Candy, Portia, Cynthia, and Eva. All these ladies were on your side prior to us even looking at season 12 because you were going real hard in the back battle with Nene Lee's on social media but it comes to see it comes to my mind and what I've been viewing since season when I mean episode one of season 12 you've been uh definitely getting ostracized look like they're turning on you Kenya okay because you've been doing some foul shit all right Nene as well as Marlo looking pretty good and your light is somewhat dimming okay because you're doing some stuff you don't need to really be doing but that's just my take. That's my viewpoint. And that's how I'm feeling about it. Because, honey, I don't bench you. I don't wrap you up in a little present. And I don't really want to see you to season 13. Okay? Because I want you to come back. But this season 12, you're just showing your pure natural ass. And I'm saying it for the negative. And I'm not liking it. And I'm not caring who come over here and saying, damn, or this. I mean, you can be team Turtle all day. You can be team Nene. You can be team Portia. 
everybody can have their teams over here but i'm just telling you how i feel about her okay and i ain't liking nothing kenya's showing me this season because she's showing me jealousy she's showing me envious she's showing me no respect for her colleagues or herself really and she just has this evil vindictive spirit and she and number five she wants to have all the spotlight and that's just piss poor and not being tolerated okay not from my eyes all right but anyway going back to the article it said um Balin hill 49 got engaged in july and will be getting married in october 2020 the wedding will be part of real housewives of atlanta okay then we have a subtitle she has every real housewives couple who has divorced my fans have been on my journey for 10 years they've seen me get married on the show they've seen all my ups and downs in my last marriage to peter thomas and they have seen me get divorced on the show now in hindsight Peter was doing some effed up shit to Cynthia. She, he definitely was draining her bank account and making her look pretty silly. But there were some times when Cynthia got in his ass and looked like she wanted to shake him every which way but loose. And I was okay with that. I was cool because, you know, Peter was definitely being a little foul running around now trying to spend up money here and there. So I get it. I got it good. Okay, but let's not throw too much salt on Peter Thomas because he definitely saved you, Cynthia, with some of your storyline. Okay, that because you kind of boring, honey. So if Peter didn't try to mix things up, shake things up, I don't know if you would still be on Real Housewives of Atlanta, girl. So let's not throw too much salt on Peter Thomas, okay? Because he, I still ride for Peter. He's better. He's better. I don't know what might give him because, like I said, I see him as an opportunist. Seriously, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We can always change our mind. We can always change our perspective that's what we say maturity is and we grow but if you don't show us nothing but negativity and what you're giving us then that's all we can really report on then can we okay i think that's fair but moving on it says and they have seen me get divorced on the show they've seen me date on the show she recently told us exclusively it would be totally unfair for them not to see my have happily ever after uh-huh that's something what kenya moore never got she strived to it but she came up empty all right but when you pay for stuff you pay for what you get that's how i look at it so hmm she bought a storyline, played it up. That mark was her hmm, forever, ever, forever, happily ever after. But the only thing she got out of it was a beautiful baby girl. That was one cornerstone that I sh she should have for the books as a win. Now, the other mess, fake, fraudulent, and full of fakery fuckery. Okay, that's all I got to say. My else, fake, fraudulent, full of foolishness and fuckery. Okay, that's all I got to say. Uh, then it says, um, I want to share it with them because I'm in a great place. I'm happy and they see me not always so happy. Okay, and that's pretty much it. And it's telling us to definitely tune in to the Bravo channel on Sunday, Eastern Standard Time at 8 p.m. to watch more episodes of season 12. But we should definitely uh, chime in and be there for this particular episode that's coming up this Sunday on the 29th because it's going to definitely be what I had tried to play y'all auto audio of uh, uh, the next episode where Cynthia confronts uh, Kenya about possibly ruining her surprise of a proposal. But in a sense, it was kind of ruined, even though it couldn't have, you know, it could have not been because she probably knew and she was taping it for the show and everything and trying to get her ratings up, which was fine. But for uh, Kenya to come in, knowingly knowing you know everything why would you want to even do that with your friend just let her have her moment whether she got it that night or she didn't get it that night you shouldn't have put your foot in your mouth have your whole ass in your mouth and you know tell her something like that see that picture that shows she knew what she was doing but it didn't turn out the way she wanted it to be shown and for people to react to it so see that's that's just mm -mm. no honey that's fighting time right there <laughs> That's fighting time. But y'all get down in the comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about Cynthia coming from the woodworks, the bushes, the uh, the skylights coming down on Kenya like a little assassin running around there confronting her so-called friend. 
Okay? She might need to uh, exercise who she calls her friends and who she calls her co-worker, okay? Because it seems like she's more of the latter than the first, all right? But again, y'all get down in the comments telling me what y'all thought about Cynthia coming out confronting her bully type of friend, Kenya, about ruining her proposal that Mike was going to give her later on that evening, okay? And again, like I said... If you like my commentary, please continue to subscribe to my channel. Yes, share and like my videos, and I will see y'all next video. All right, happy holidays. Bye-bye.